If you're going to be done, be done then. Just stop talking to me about it. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back. Like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How are y'all feeling? You know, I usually like to say that. But seriously, tell me how you feel in the comments. Are you done with this team? Are you finished? I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that later. I just would love to know early on in the video how you you know how you feeling. Um, Cowboys got outplayed yesterday, outcoached, outschemed across the board, everything. I touched on it last night for an hour, talked about it a little bit on Twitter. Um, I think it's really important to acknowledge your L's. And to digest them, understand what you did wrong before you can fix it. We need to not run from it. You know, it's, it's some good things that came out of today's interviews and stuff like that. I'm glad that the team is acknowledging clear fall. I'm glad that Mike McCarthy sees that the offense looked terrible. I'm glad that he said that we got outcoached. I, I like. I want to hear you say it. Say it out loud. You know. Now let's let's, let's destroy and rebuild. I said let's rebuild on Twitter yesterday. Everybody thought I was talking about rebuilding the team. No, uh, we need to change what we've been doing. I'm not saying to scrap the whole offense because sometimes it ain't about changing everything. But we got to make some changes. Insanity is doing the same thing, expecting different results. We got to make some changes. We do. We need to go back, see what has worked well, perfect that, and see where we can make some tweaks to make some new success. It is what it is. Dan Quinn needs to wear the fact that his defense don't look unstoppable. Now, I'll get him a pass. They got tired. They did. We was three and out in a bunch, and they was playing hard. And eventually, the levees will break. It happened to San Francisco in the championship game last year versus the Eagles. When your offense can't do nothing, the defense will get tired, and the levees will break. It is what it is. Our de their defense was really trying. Now, were they perfect? No. They went down the field right away and scored. They did. You know, but the adjustments seemed to look like they was going to be working a little bit. But our offense didn't give them nothing. So, we didn't play complimentary football. You know, you saw when Dak started to press, he, he threw some interceptions. It just was bad. Mike McCarthy, I don't know what was going on. Um, shout out to my boy, Okoye Media. I don't know why we was in shotgun so much. I don't know why we ain't impose our will some more. We ain't stick to the run properly. And I'm not saying that we need to run the ball to beat the Niners, it's just that we look like we tried to play finesse again. Can't play finesse first down. Now, some players came to play. I see Tyler Smith out there look like he came to play. Um, but it just looked like they had it more than us. It seemed like after their first couple of plays, offensively or defensively, it just broke us mentally. That first score, the defense said, mm, playing tight, not playing loose, you know? And then the first stop on offense, and then the second stop on offense, that second three and out, just broke the offense mentally. Dak Prescott was out there clutching. He wasn't – the ball should be out at the third step. Boom, ball out. But he's not confident in himself when he's playing the Niners. I don't know what it's about. I'm not here to lie or sugarcoat it. I said earlier on Twitter, Dak looks scared. I don't know what it is about the Niners. Some teams just got your number. When it's versus the Eagles – he not he has no fear. I don't know. The Eagles got a pass rush. I don't know what it is. Versus the Eagles, Dak just be letting it fly. I don't know if it's because it's a divisional game. I don't know. But versus the 49ers, he just, I don't know if it's Fred Warner specifically. I don't know who it is they got in his head. But he just in his head. And I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know. He needs to see a sports psychologist. I don't know what he needs to do. But um, all the stuff that Dak has overcome, I would think he'd be stronger than that mentally because he's overcome a lot. That's why I rock with him. But... You know, no crown over spilled milk. Ain't no going to be no trades of Dak Prescott. He's going to be here. You know what I'm saying? And no other quarterbacks is walking through that door. Trey Lance ain't about to start. Cooper Rush ain't about to start. Dak Prescott will be your starter. You need to coach him up, Mike McCarthy. You need to get back to the quarterback school and get to the nitty-gritty. What's wrong? You can't just safe your way through the season. And if it's the fact that you just like, yo, we cannot trust Dak Prescott. He's just not good enough. Let's go ahead and just rip that Band-Aid off. Stop playing with it. But trying to just underneath pass your way through the season, it's not going to work. It's not that those, those plays aren't effective. It's just if that's your primary strategy, we're failed before we hit the field. You know? 
Um, it's just so many things, man. You look at the film, man. I'm not even mad at CeeDee Lamb. He was open plenty of times. There were opportunities available. But, again, Dak didn't want to throw over the middle because that's where Fred lived. That's where Greenwell live. And them linebackers, them, them San Francisco linebackers really, really, really have done a number on him mentally. I think it's the linebackers. I don't think it's nobody else. I don't think it's the corners. He was throwing at the edges. It's the linebackers. <laughs> and I'm not mad at them. I mean, they're incredible. But he's going to have to conquer that. I don't know what it's going to take, but he's going to have to figure it out. You know, um, but I'll say this. Even with all that. Being out coached, out schemed, out emotional, whatever you want to call it, out phys physical, right? I'm still here with this team. I got complete faith in my quarterback and my team. I say that without blinking. I can say that we played like trash last night, too, without blinking. No, I'm not trying to spin it. You, as you noticed, that first five minutes of the videos I've done the last, ain't no spinning this. We played bad, but we need to figure out why and try to fix it, you know? I don't know what that's going to take, but they got an extra day of preparation and we need to heal up because look, we, we lost LVEs on IR. Um, we lost CJ Goodwin for the year. Kevontae Turpin got a high ankle sprain. We got beat up physically, like worked out like a bow flex. Yes. LV got a neck issue. They say he on IR. I don't know how long he's going to be on this and hope he comes back later this season. They talking about us working out linebackers. Y'all put some linebackers in the comments because I don't know. Rashawn Evans, who was with the Eagles and left, I don't know what he got. Anthony Barr at least knows the system. You know, he's fresh. He does know the system. And he did have some moments last year. Not the greatest of moments, but at the end of the day, I feel like him and LV are pretty equivalent. I would call Anthony Barr. I just would. I mean, I just, I just would. I don't know what to tell you. Um... If he still wants to play football. I don't know. Um, but even with all of that, my faith is unwavered. I'm, I'm rocking with my team. It's just me. Y'all, yo, I'm going to ask you a straight up question. If you got to this point in the in the stream or in the video or whatever, what do you want out of me? What do you want out of CFT? Seriously. Let me know in the comments. I will read them. I will respond. Because a lot of people tell me, y'all come to you because you keep it real. And because your confidence in this team. After watching a game like that, yes, your confidence can be shaken, but I ain't going nowhere. It's a lot of football left. We got 12 games left. Y'all you, 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 broken up, ready to quit after, that's it? After five games, it's a wrap? You think we're not going to blow no more teams out? You think that's it? No, we got a tough matchup next week. The Chargers ain't coming to play with us. The Chargers is coming to throw dirt on our grave. They look at us like food, like, ooh. Justin Herbert's like, ooh, a national TV standalone game. I can make a name for myself. And the way that 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 Purdy just made a name for himself, I want some of that. I'm coming to get me some of that. You know what I'm saying? But you got our players out here worried about what happened with the Niners. Stop talking to the Niners, Micah. I love you. Stop. Stop. We saw what they did. We saw what Kittle did. We'll we'll handle that if we earn a chance to do it. If, ain't nothing guaranteed. If, do I think we're going to miss the playoffs or something? No. But all I'm saying is this. I'm, I said yesterday I'm tired of talking. I was, I, was, I was war mode. They wasn't war mode. But I also don't play. My mentality can't carry over to the field. I don't play. I just got faith in my players. I still do, though. You know, I was talking earlier on Twitter, and it's just funny to me. And y'all can follow me if y'all want to. Cowboys underscore fan talk. Um, I get a lot of my thoughts out quickly over there. Y'all know how it is. Um, you know, people just keep telling me, yo, I'm done with this team. I'm done with Dak Prescott, bro. I supported him. I believed in him. He keeps letting me down. I'm done. I'm going to say this clear as possible. Be done. Be done then. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not your fan father. I control myself and my emotions and who I follow and who I support. I support the Cowboys. I support Dak Prescott. Has he played bad, especially yesterday, and had a couple moments this year that I wish he did better in? Of course. We ain't here to lie or sugarcoat. Have I seen him excel and ball before? Yes. In big moments, people don't want to acknowledge him. In the playoffs, 
in big games during the year, I've seen him step up and ball. Yes. I know it's in there. I, I don't know what it is mentally, but he need to get out of it, snap out of it, and get back to the Dak Prescott. I know. I ain't just supporting them for the like for the sake of it. I ain't support some of them dudes we used to rock with, the Quincy Carters, and I ain't not. Nah. But I seen greatness out of Dak. I know it's in there. I'm going to just stay 10 toes down and support. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to give up, give up. Bye. I said this, man. I would rather all the bandwagon-y, I'm done with this team, just leave. All y'all people leave. I would rather all of that leave and we have a smaller, dedicated, focused fan base than to deal with the large amount of goofy shit that I deal with every day dealing with these fans. Go. Don't support them no more. I ain't going to support them until they leave. Then just wait it out. You got a year and a half. But stop talking to me about it. I don't care about your emotion. I hate Dak Prescott. Congratulations. Go look in the mirror and tell yourself. Stop telling me. I'm a ride. I'm here with the squad. Trust me, my notifications been on fire. And I earned every last one of them. And I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. Like I never left. But right now, it ain't time for that. It's time for the Cowboys to get back to work and go show and prove like I know they can. But I'm done talking. Tomorrow, we're just talking about how we can improve this offense and defense. Because scheme, everything. Because it's a lot of work to be done. And we got till next Monday night to fix it. It's your boy, Mr. Rome.